What's up? Uh, we're here with uh, three of the special guys from the Afrocentric City uh, South Division Champions. Can you please introduce yourself? Give me your name and your, uh, your grade. I'm Preston and I'm a senior. Cortez Freeman, I'm a junior. I'm Dalen Swain, I'm a senior. My man, appreciate y'all, man. Uh, real quickly, how's it feel to uh, represent Afrocentric for a second? And we know it should have been third year in a row. How's it feel? Yeah, give me some of them guys who was Preston. How's it feel, man? It feel good to uh, inspire the younger people in the building because we got a lot of people looking up to us with the school being K through 12. And it just feel good to inspire them. Well, yeah, I agree with what he said. And, um, it feel good to, you know, do some things that never really been done before, like supposed to be going three years back to back, but one of the years got taken away. But still just kind of um, changing the culture a little bit, like more of a winning culture and getting things done. Absolutely. Appreciate that. Now, how is it different this year? You know, last year y'all won, but y'all weren't able to be city championships, city champions. This year y'all are the city champions. And so we know Columbus City, if you got the same record as somebody else, y'all wouldn't go. So every game is, is important, man. So what was the difference this year? And for you, Cortez, how was that? You know, you've you been in the OCC. How, you know, is, is, is it different? You know, what's the difference, especially? It, it's, the environment is way different. I have to get used to the gyms we played in this year, but I got used to it now, so I'm more comfortable. Uh, I definitely feel like it was different. Um, we had a target on our back last year for sure, but this year, you know, being the defending champions and um, knowing that if we lose to anybody or we split records with anybody, then they go instead of us. Uh, it just each game meant that much more to to all of us. So we knew we had to play with a chip on our shoulder every game. South try to give y'all something, man. No time. Yeah, with us being the seniors, we really just want to go out with a bang. Be undefeated. Absolutely. And now, now, how many of y'all did y'all lose last year? We lost one last year to one of Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you. All right. Now, we know we know your uh, your goal. Your goal ain't the city championship. That's one of the goals. We know the main goal, man. But but tell us what what's it mean, or what would it mean to you know put that city championship uh, trophy in the case, you know, and um. Like you said, represent for the younger kids, but we're going to talk about later on what your real goal is. Uh, it, it will mean a lot, like you said, represent more than just us, more than just the basketball team. You know, um, we got little kids in the building from kindergarten all the way up to seniors in high school. So just playing for everybody and um, winning this year would be back to back. So it would be the first team in Afrocentric history that did that. So um, it's just a lot of motivation adding on to our goals. And like you said, cities is just one of our goals. That's the main goal, state championship. Uh, we got like a little saying, we say uh, CDRS, which is cities, districts, regionals, and states. So we taking it uh, one by one. Right now, just focusing on our opponent in the city championship and trying to get that goal done. Absolutely. You know, when I first got here, Bates told me what the goal was to win the state championship and get me better every day. So, and I listened to him and that's what we're working for right now. Absolutely. Oh man. So um, I know, and I love it, y'all taking it one step at a time because if you get too far ahead, that's when you're gonna find yourself in trouble. And I, I done been there a whole lot. So um, real quickly, man, we're gonna wrap this up. Tell me your favorite player, man. Somebody you played on your, uh, your game after you grew up, you know, looking at and like, man, I'm, I, that's my guy. Uh, I, I, my guy actually got changed. It's Jordan Bull now. I just like, he's so crafty and shifty and I just like what he do. I play a lot, huh? I, I can I can tell that in your game. Uh, I like Paul George. Um, him being like a big guard, being able to handle the ball, score whenever he want, and facilitate a little bit. Like just being a smooth big guard. So I kind of model my game after him. And, and, and you can definitely see that. And your, your handles really improve, man. You, you get wherever you want to on the court, man. That's a beautiful thing. I don't really have a, a favorite player. I just like to. 
take little bits and pieces from players to make my game better. Man. All right, Preston, who's your last question? Who's in the, uh, I was about to say tape deck. I was finna show my age. <laughs> Who y'all listening to pregame, man? Uh, it's a lot of real rich. Um, real rich? A, yeah, it's like. Oh, that's, oh, that's the, oh, that's the team, uh, team guy, huh? Yeah, he get my played way. a lot. Huh? He get played a lot. Listen, real, uh, real talk, tell me a song, because I'm a player for my class. Tell me a song. Uh, real rich that. song. Whoop that. Whoop guy. Whoop that. Whoop that, my yes, man. man. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Take care and best of yes, luck sir. all the way. We're going to definitely follow you. I'm going to be there. Yes, so, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you.